protein and uh, ice flake charters. I'm down here on uh, Lake Moultrie here in uh, South Carolina. It's the uh, 1st of December. Uh, it's winter time. It doesn't look like when you're here, sitting here with the sleeves all rolled up. And back home where I'm from, it's uh, 30 degrees and spitting uh, freezing rain. Uh, but had the wintertime blues there. We're going to get out and catch some catfish. And I'm going to be fishing uh, today with John Land, which is the vice president, of, vice president, excuse me, of Indiana Catfish Association, and is also an HTS uh, Pro Team member. Uh, we're going to uh, go out today and hopefully do just that, catch us some wintertime blues. So come along, let's go catch some fish. Before venturing out on your catfishing expedition, it is important to gather fresh bait. It is always best to use bait that is natural to the body of water in which you fish. Here on Santee Cooper, white perch is most abundant, and catfish feed on them year-round. We're fishing for white perch just outside of Harry's Fish Camp in the main channel. We used our electronics to locate a school of bait fish, and then positioned our shot rig and drift worms one foot off the bottom. We may spend up to two or three hours of time gathering bait. There's one thing that I hate, and that's to run out of bait. It is possible to use five to ten pounds of bait daily. Whether you use them cut up or live, these bait fish can be productive. Typically, the larger the bait fish you use, the bigger the fish you will catch. Smaller baits may result in smaller fish, which may be ideal for the angler seeking a good source of table fare. Hi, I'm uh, John Land, I'm an HTS Pro Team member. I'm out here with Captain Ed Brochin today, uh, fishing for uh, catfish on Santa Cooper. And uh, what we're using here today is a uh, Brooklyn E-Cat number four rod and a simple slip rig with a two ounce sinker down to a swivel, a piece of 50 pound knot, uh, monofilament uh, down to a five aught kale hook. And uh, we're putting a uh, live uh, perch out that we caught, caught earlier in the day and we're going to put one of these out here and see if we can't catch us a, a big flathead or blue cat with it. I'm gonna run me just a little bit different rig there than John's got. I've got me a St. Croix cat rod running 80 pound braid with a two ounce uh, slip bell sinker, uh, glass bead there, and I'm running a number nine eagle claw circle hook. And I'm gonna use me a little uh, red ear sunfish, looks like there. And I'm gonna set him out here just off the sides if we can. Get him down close to the bottom, see if he can't get scooped up here in a minute by a nice big flight. I like the circle hooks because I, I don't have to quite set the hook on him. You just wind, just get a good steady pull, and you, the fish sets the hook themselves. Normally, uh, I used to use a tail or also a setting hook also, but when you uh, run service as a guide, a lot of times with children and older, uh, maybe elderly couples too that aren't used to setting hooks a lot, it's easier for me to just tell them, hey, pick up a rod and wind. So after so many years of using them, then uh, I just got used to them and I prefer them now. So hopefully they'll work for me. John, what are you putting on there now? Uh, this is a head off of, off of a skipjack. Get the filet here, we already cut the gut out of it. I'll just cut the head off of it and I'm gonna put just the head out of it here. You can see it's got some, some gut still left in it. Pick it once here and toss and it. Isn't the skipjack real oily? Yeah, these are extremely oily. So it should leave a good scent trail then up. Yeah, yeah. You can fish one of these baits for several hours. And if it don't get hit, take it out of the water and dip it on the water and still see the oils pour off of it. So it makes it a real good bait. All right. There, that's a, you can see the oils drip on the water there off that bait. It just leaves a film on the water. All right, that's the way to do it, my man. Get him out of there.
fish. All right. Uh, huh? All right. Good deal. Um, pretty good size there, John. All right, good. All right, good. Grab. Uh, I put the net. I put the net right there by you on your right side. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Move him to the left, John. Yeah, that's a nice blue. And you had to land him yourself. Good job, John. <laughs> Way to go. Huh? Brought a bigger net with us, sir. Yeah, I know. We, we ended up, we forgot that, didn't we? Had it right in the garage, big old Beckman. Oh well. Bring him on back here. Let's uh, take a look at him. Oh yeah, he's a nice one. Oh yeah, nice huh? fish, Eddie. Oh yeah. Should take him out of there. Good chance. Good job, John. Wasn't long, was it? Oh, yeah. Nice, big, healthy blue in it. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll get the hook out of them there. We'll release them, see if we can't get us another one, all right? There you are. That's what you get, blue catfish with Eddie Brochin on Sandy Cooper Reservoir in the wintertime. And the release. Oh, you want to yeah, you want to measure him up, don't you? Yeah, I want to measure him it up. Came on 16 pound line, didn't it? Yep. All right, man. Let's Good measure him, see what he measures. Okay. We got a tape measure. Right here. Let's get it down. You notice the edge mark. Tail of 31 inches. All right, nice fish. Here he goes. And Back to the deep so you can come on down and catch him yourself. All right, good job, John. That's the first one. Not running with it. I mean, I couldn't even get up here and just barely got it in my hand, dude. He just stopped running with it. Dropped it, didn't he? Mm -hmm. Give him a minute there. That's got three big pieces of bait on it. He may pick it back up. All right. Got to get him away from the stumps. He's big, man. He's real big. Is he? Yeah. I guess he's pulling the boat. Oh yeah, he's a hog, man. Hold on to him, Ed. I'm gonna, right. I'm gonna walk back here and get the net for you, buddy. All right, go ahead. Okay? Yeah, oh yeah, he's nice. I mean, I gotta get him with me stumps. Get him out of them stumps. Okay, he's out, man. He's, All right. he's coming in, he's pretty big. Here, I'm gonna give you the net, bud. All right. Yeah, I appreciate it. Here you go. He's not real big, but he's, here. he's a pretty good little fighter there. Come on in here, bro. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. There's the first one. He's a nice, pretty fish, too. Just beautiful. A beautiful color and everything. The thing I like about the blue cats, well, you can catch them in the wintertime, you know what, John? That's yeah. one thing that keeps me coming, going fishing through the winter months. Blue cats. Hook out, man. Well, these circle hooks, boy, they're lethal now. You get a good hook set on them, they're not getting off. There he is. Look at that there, John. Beautiful blue cat, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's gorgeous. All right, let's get him over back to the corner. I'll catch us another one. Oh, yeah. Just like that, he's gone. All right, nice oh, one. He is too big for this rod. Yes. Okay, well, be careful. What do you got on there, 16 pound? Yep. He is way too big for this rod. Well, just do way your best. Too big for this rod. Just do your best, man. Okay. Yeah, Try to wear him out. To. Give him some drag. I mean, well, you don't want to give him too much. Nothing. No, these I'm stumps. Not giving him nothing. He's under a log. Uh oh. Oh, come on. He's 
He's out long. All right, good deal, good. Get on him. I'll, uh, I'll be real careful here. I'll try to get you to net, all right? Yep. Just hang on to him, John. Please, man. That's a 16-pound line. Yeah. I'd this, like him to this be... This is a, a huge fish, Eddie. All right, I'd like him to be uh, over 25 anyway. If you catch me one on t over 25 on 16-pound test, John, I'm going to be proud of you, man. Huge, huge fish. Hey, uh, you still got the camera on there, buddy? Yes, I'm on it. Um, I'm going to need the net, and then I'm going to need these other two rods out of my way. This fish is really big, bud. Oh, my God, there he is right that's there. That's all right, that's all right. Keep him coming. Oh, he is nice. Keep him coming. I'll get him, Johnny. You just bring him in. I'll get him. Here, I can get him. I can get him as big as I thought he was. He just didn't Come on him. He's still, he's nice, man. There you go. There you go. Nice fish, John. Hey, get him on in here. 16 pound line, boy. I bet he does feel pretty good, doesn't he? Nice blue cat there, John. All right. Nice. Looks like a big old giant football, doesn't he? Yep. All right. Big belly on him. All right, let's release him. I'm gonna get his measurement real quick, Ed, before we toss him back here. Look here. What you got there on him? Again, tip of the tail, 31 and a half. 31 and a half, it's a pretty good sized fish. All right, let's get him back in there. All right. Real good. Morning. Uh, this is our second day here of our fishing trip here on Sandy Cooper. I'm here out, out here with uh, John Land. Uh, yesterday we were using uh, chunks of cup perch, and well, we caught some, you know, 10, 15, maybe even up to 17 pound fish. Uh, today we're going to go with whole live perch hooked just behind the dorsal fin, see if we can't get some bigger fish. Uh, what we're doing is uh, we're fishing three to five foot of water in a uh, uh, stump flat out here just. Uh, uh, near the dam here, off the off the dam dam here on Lake Moultrie. What we're going to do is try to position some of these live baits just up in front of these stumps, see if we can pull one out of there before they get too far back into the stumps. You know, a lot of guys, uh, you know, when they fish for big catfish, they think they're going heavy with 20 pound line. Uh, we've had uh, 80 pound braid broke on numerous occasions, even up to 100 pound line broken off before fishing this way. So we really want to try to pull these fish away from those stumps as fast as you can and try to get them wore out before they get you tangled up. We'll see if we can't uh, position this guy out here and uh, maybe get us a big old blue cat. I'll go ahead and set the clicker so that way when, once we get a, a strike, you'll hear that clicker run like that. And that will indicate to us that a fish is on and then we'll know when to take him. So, uh, we'll just see what happens here. Eddie, you got a rod going there. You better get it. Eddie, there he goes. Oh, yeah. I got him. Oh, man, he's huge, John. Oh, man. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. He's got it in that other rod there. Oh, man, he's pulling. He got me down in the stump. He really does. He's in something. Let him try and work himself out. There he is. He's out. He's out. Oh, yeah. I got him out. He's coming. Man, he is big. Oh, look at him, John. Oh, man. I'm using number four E Cat, 80 pound line. And he's still. Oh, look at him. He's a hog. Pretty good size. He had me wrapped in that stump for a while. Coming in. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh my gosh, John, look at him, look at him, look at him, John. Look at him. That is one big fish. I don't know how I'm gonna try to land him by hand here. Do it or not. We'll give it a shot. Oh. Hold on, hold on. 
Don't lose him. Oh, oh man. You're gonna break your line right there like that. 80 pound line on there. Don't lose him. Oh, I got him, guy. Look at that beast. What a hogger, man. Hold on, let me let the damn jacket the hook at him. Oh, that is a beast. Oh. Look at that. Oh, man. Now that is what blue cat fishing on Sandy Cooper is all about, my friend. Wintertime blues right there. He'll go 40 pound, man. That's one huge, huge fish. Let's see the belly on that thing. Look at that. Look at that belly. Now that is a beast now. It's not as big as I was wanting to get, but man, I'll take him. Look at that, John. It's a big what old a, fish. What a hog, man. Why don't you put him on that scale there and see how long he All is right. on that measure. Right. Boy, he is nice. Man. He's gonna be about 39 inches, John. Put him back up there, let's see. So the guys at home. Look at that. About 39 inches from tip to bottom, top to, uh, from uh, nose to tip there. That's one big fish, man. Why don't you turn him loose there, somebody else will catch him. All right. All right, John. Now that's what we, uh, that's what we came to Sandy Cooper for right there, man. Now we've cut some tens and some twenties yesterday, but nothing like that, man. There he goes. He's gone. That big bait makes a difference, don't it? He took that big old whole birch in there. Big bait. Man. Big bait. That's exciting stuff. So let's go ahead and bait up. Let's see if we can't. Uh, well, I guess it's your turn on now, isn't it, John? Let's see if you can't get one. All right. Woo! Side. Got him. All right, John. Is he a good one? Yeah. What'd you get him on that, uh, a live perch too? A live perch, big live perch. Big fish, Eddie. Is it? All right. Boy, he'd been slamming that live perch today, man, like you wouldn't believe. Oh man, he's going into another rock. Is he, is he? Oh, hang, get him out of there, John. Oh my gosh, he is big. Look at him, look at him. Oh, he's in that other rock. Oh, he's out. That's a big fish. What, another 30 or? Oh man, he might be 40. Uh, yeah, not quite, is It's a nice fish, though. Can you land him? Be nice to have a third person. We have somebody land him in the net, huh? Here, let me hold the rod. I'll put him in net. Man, he's gonna be good testing. All right, nice catch, John. Let's see him. Oh yeah, nice fish. Put him right here. That's it. Let's see what we got there. I need the pliers. No. Oh yeah. Put that one down, dude. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna put him on the scale and see how well, Let's take a look at him. Let's hold him up here. Oh yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Huge fish. Let's see. Don't lose him now. I'm gonna put him on this scale. Let me get around here on the other side of you. Oh man. What's it gonna go? 37. 37 inches? It's not much smaller than mine, is it? I bet it'll go 30 pounds, close to 30 pounds. Why don't you hold him up for me again, please? Hold him up right over here. Let me take a look at him. Oh, yeah. Come sideways. Nice fish, John. Big old blue cat. All right, let's go ahead and release him before he falls down on the boat there. And off he goes. All right, John, that's the way it's, that's what it's all about, man. That's it.
Well, you know, John, the uh, fog's lifted and the sun's come out and the bite's kind of slowed down here a little bit. And you know how much I like to eat catfish, so I'm going to take uh, my ultralight here and a little uh, 16th, 16th ounce uh, jig head. And I cut me a piece of fresh perch. I'm just going to tip it just like this. Hook it in there like that, and I'm going to see if I can't work that off the bottom a little bit, see if we can't catch us a small catfish, uh, something we can take home and fry it for lunch. Sound good to you? Mm -hmm. Some red beans and rice? All right. I love fried catfish. Out here. Bottom bounce this for a little while and see if I can uh, catch us some lunch. Sink all the way down to the bottom. We're fishing, what are we fishing here, John? Looks like about 23 foot. You never know, we might get lucky. One of the things, one of the reasons I really love fishing down here in the winter time, John. I mean, not only that you, you know catch big blue cats and stuff like we've been doing, but I just enjoy being out here on the water. If you take a look around, the scenery is just gorgeous. We've got all these old treetops sticking up uh, off the surface. We've seen bald eagles since we've been down here. Comrades, loons. I mean, the wildlife is just incredible. It's very peaceful. And I usually take a three or four day vacation every year and come down here. Decided this time we're gonna capture it all on tape so we can take it back and relive the memories throughout the rest of the year until the next time we come back. How long have you been fishing with me, John? What do you mean? Well, how long have we been fishing together? Mm, a couple years. We caught a lot of fish in those two years. Let me yeah. Oh, there he is. Got him. I'll be darned, man. Looks like we're going to get us some lunch after all. Coming up. I feel real big. There he is, there he is. Little dink, man, a little dink, but hey, that's lunch for us right there, buddy. That's what it's all about right there. Blue cat. Look at that, caught him right in the corner of the mouth. Isn't that a beautiful fish. Take a look at that, John. Look how just oh it's gorgeous. Look at the coloring in him. About the right size for lunch? Yep. Get another two or three of these and see if we can't uh, Get enough to make it lunch. Boy, he's hooked good, dude. Got the pliers? Yeah, I have to get some pliers. Yeah. Right here, as a matter of fact, I always keep my leather man there handy. My handy leather man. All right. Put him in the box to see if we can't get us another one. All right. Can you imagine that? Hit that perch like that. Try him again, it's still on there. Just drop it down there, just bounce it off the bottom. Just the screen was showing a bunch of fish down there, so I figured they were catfish, they're right on the bottom. Might as well try them. We're out uh, just outside of a, a cabin here that belongs to uh, my business partner and fishing partner named Scott Tudoro. He's here with a couple of his guests, uh, Jeff Scrumpy. And also uh, Kevin, uh, his bait supplier, man. They're here down here fishing at Sandy Cooper, same time. We just found out about this. Well, last night they were uh, bragging about this uh, stew that they were gonna cook up. They've been uh, stewing up this uh, special uh, dinner there for themselves. So we're gonna sneak in there. We convinced the host, uh, the host of the camp here to give us their key, let us in there. We're gonna sneak in there and steal their stew just to uh, see what, uh, what kind of a chaos we can uh, stir up tonight. Come on. They're out there in the water right now anyway, so we're... These guys are going to come back tonight, starve half to death. Wait to come in here and eat this stew and it's going to be missing. Alright, let's see what we got. Oh my gosh, does it look good. Wow. What a stew. Alright, well, let's unplug her here. It's not very hot. I bet I can get that over to our place real quick. All right, let's go. Go ahead and lock the door up there. Okay. That is one 
good looking stew, man. All right. Well, here we are. Let's get and sneak this guy in here, all right? All right. Watch well, this thing is heavy, you know? I'm sweating. Going just half a block that I walked all the way over here with this thing. All right, let's set it down here on the counter. Let's get it plugged in. Set it on high. And there she is. Imagine what they're going to think when they come back to their cabin here to eat lunch and their lunch is missing. Man, we're going to stir up uh, some chaos here this afternoon. It's going to be fun. All right. There they come. The boys are just now coming in from their afternoon fishing trip. And they're probably pretty hungry. There's Scott Tedero. There's Kevin. Where's Grumpy at? There's Jeff Scrumpy right there in a the red shirt. Oh, this is gonna be good. Okay, there they go. There's two of them. Where's, wait, where's Scott? There's Jeff Scrumpy on the right. There's Kevin on the left. Where in the heck is Scott? Oh, they're turning back looking for him. Must be uh, must be on his way. They're thinking, mm, 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 homemade stew is all we can do. I think our guests have found out that their stew is missing. And now they're heading back to tell Scott. What's going on? A crock pot full of our stew. And? It's gone. Did you take it? No. Are you sure? What crock pot? A crock pot with stew in there. What you know? I've been out filming the lake. Kevin, uh, you know anything about that? Yeah. <laughs> you got our crock pot with our stew. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a Oh, this is great, man. Okay, guys, I just I see it two ways. Okay, either one, you can go and pick it back up and carry it across the lot like I did, burn your hands, or you can bring over a couple extra bowls we will. and share it with us. <laughs> either that, or you can have some of our Harry's Fish Camp special there, a catfish sandwich and fries again tonight for dinner. One or the other. Where's the crock pot? Huh? Where's the crock pot with all the <laughs> Hey, Jeff, this is sweet. It's smelling good, wasn't it? Oh, man, it smells uh, great. I wish that we want our money back. We're never coming back. <laughs> well, there you have it. Wow. <laughs> Got him here, John. I know this is one really big fish. Is he in it? Nope. Is that another fish? Must be another fish. Oh yeah, he might be in it. Oh, he's in it. John, I know this is a really big fish, man. I decided to uh, go ahead and turn the camera oh, back on. Oh my God. Get him away from the boat, John. I decided I was gonna go ahead and uh, put the camera back on because he's really big, man. I don't want him in that stuff. I know, I, I want you to. There he is. Get him up here, John. Hold on. Help me out. Let's 
Okay, That's it. Lean the net this way. Oh yeah! Woo! Look at that. Oh, I decided bigger than one you caught last night, Eddie. Well, I wanted to. I decided to turn the camera back on, buddy. I'm sorry. I put it all away. That was, way, that was bigger than one you caught last night, dude. We are fit, fishing the last last evening of our fishing trip, bud, and uh, I put the camera away because you were tired of filming, and uh, I thought I. Oh. I heard that thing hit the top of the surface, man. I just decided I better turn it on just to get one last. Uh, Look at blue cat fishing here on Sandy Cooper, guys. In the winter time, you just can't beat it. It is a blast. Get him out of there, John. Let's take a look at him. It's almost dark. Oh, let's hold him up here, John. What a hog, man. What a hog. Look at that, guys. That is one beautiful beast there, John. Oh, yeah. Huh? It's a nice fish, man. Real nice fish. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera on. We'll get you some pictures of them, okay? Yep. All right, guys. Say goodbye to Sandy Cooper. Bye-bye.